a lot of video cards on my bench here that we need to fix. And all of them are expedited. I do not know why they put all those cards on my bench. I cannot work on them all at the same time. But right off the bat, I have three of them here. And we have one here. And this one is urgent. And we have one here. And I have a bin. With this card that we need to fix. This card. I do not want to put them on top of each other. And this card. These cards were put on my bench because they were supposed to be done today. I mean, I'm not Superman. I did about five cards. That's on top of fixing phones, tablets, laptops, and everything else. We also have this laptop that needed to be done today, and this PS4 board. I'm not Superman. All right, last repair for the day. We're going to be working on the MSI NVIDIA 1650 Super. And the video card looks something like this. We already disassembled the board, and the board looks something like this. Customer wrote potential water damage. That's what the title says. Let's read the description. The computer got some water on it because the apartment flooded. I dried off the PC as best as I could, then tried to turn it on. There was a spark, and then no video signal. I took the card apart to see if I could see anything obvious. I did not find any. I did notice that one of the 20 amp fuses was reading and open, as open. Love the YouTube content. Keep up the great work. Say hi to Big Boss for me. Thanks. Subscribe. So the customer measured one of the fuses as open. On this card, we have two fuses. We have one right next to the power connector, and we have one down here, right here. Let's start by measuring to see if we have an open on either one. Meter in continuity mode, and let's measure. And the fuse is open. Let's measure the other one, all the way down on the bottom. And this one is good. So the fuse that's open is the one on the top. While at it, why don't we do a quick visual inspection just to see if there's anything obvious. Maybe a blown component or corrosion, whatever the case may be. Just quick visual inspection. And overall, the board looks clean. Maybe liquid hit the power connector on top and caused the fuse to blow. I mean, the board looks super clean. No obvious signs of liquid. Right now, what we're going to do is measure to see if we have a short on either side of the fuse. We cannot just replace the fuse. We have to make sure that we do not have a short. Otherwise, fuse is going to blow again. Meter in diode mode. We are not reading a short. What about the top part of the fuse? We are reading a voltage drop of 0 0.456, which is perfect. We don't have a short. And if we measure the coil for a short, 0 0.464, no short at all. That's a good thing, because we can safely replace the fuse if we don't have a short. Now, I do not have that fuse in stock. We're going to have to take it off a donor board. We have a shipment coming in for those fuses, but I do not have one right now. For the time being, I'm going to jump that fuse to see if the card will work. And I took one tiny wire off a Cat5 cable. I'm just going to take one thread. Let's take a look under the microscope. I'm just going to take one tiny wire from here. Let's take this one. 
and put the rest on the side. And we're going to jump that fuse. I just want to see if jumping that fuse will get the card working again. And look at this, I do see signs of liquid on this area of the board. So now we are soldering this wire for the sole purpose of testing to see if that board will turn on. And the wire is not too thick, so should there be anything wrong with the board, that wire is going to blow. Alright, and we're good. Let's get the camera in focus. And let's measure. Do we have a continuous path now? And we do. So now we're going to test. Will that card work? If yes, then our job is done. Goggles for safety. Let me turn that fume extractor off. We have the power cable plugged in, HDMI cable plugged in. The cord is secured. Power supply on. The board is on. Are we gonna hear six beeps or... Oh, it's working. It's working. Right there. <laughs> so it's a fuse issue. Wow, that was awesome, that was awesome. Great, I can now go home. The job is done, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.